What are the shows on Real Caribbean that are not to be missed? I'm talking about the ones that you absolutely positively must see. I've thought about it for a while, and today I've got a look at my favorite shows on any Real Caribbean ship up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and today's video is actually a suggestion from one of our viewers, KC Sports Fan told me, Matt, I love watching your weekly videos with tips and information about all things Royal Caribbean. When I go to book a cruise, the most important factor for me is the entertainment on board. I would love to see a video where you post your top shows you've seen on board a Royal Caribbean ship. What's the best ice show? What's the best original show, etc. And I got to admit, I really thought about this for a while because there are so many great shows on a Royal Caribbean ship. I mean, no matter which ship you go in in the fleet, there's quite a few different options. Some overlap across other ships, but there's a lot of original productions as well. So if you're going on a cruise, how do you know which ones you really should check out? Well, first and foremost, my favorites may not be your favorites. So I'd recommend in general, you see as many shows as you can. Keeping in mind, by the way, that nearly all the shows, in fact, I think all the shows are included with your cruise fare. Meaning if it's a Broadway show, if it's an original production, if it's a medley, these are included with your cruise fare and no additional cost to see these performances on board the ship. Whether we're talking about the ice skating rink theater shows in Studio B, we're talking about the production shows on the Royal Theater, or even the incredible Aqua Theater shows, these are included, no additional cost. And when you think about that factor, that entertainment is part of the cruise fare, and now you compare that to land vacations, my goodness, it's incredible. So. I really thought about, okay, what are the shows you cannot miss? And I came up with a list of, well, six. I thought about, oh, I could probably do three or four. I ended up with six because I just couldn't leave these out. And we're going to start off with a classic Royal Caribbean game show, The Love and Marriage Show. So Royal Caribbean has some really fun shows, but I think The Love and Marriage Game Show is a classic that's been shown for many, many years, and it's become a fan favorite for very good reason. So if you're not aware, The Love and Marriage Game Show is kind of Royal Caribbean's own take on the newlywed game show. Basically, cruise directors invite certain couples to come on board and compete against each other to see which couple knows the most about each other. There's usually a couple that's been recently married, like newlyweds. There's been a couple that's been married for around, I don't know, 10 to 20 years. And there's always that couple that's been married the longest, usually 20 or more years beyond that. There are two rounds, and in each round, one spouse is taken backstage to be in isolation while the other spouse is asked a series of questions about the relationship. The questions are usually about the circumstances in which they first met, dates they've gone on, and even some personal questions about their relationship. After the first spouse gives their answers, the other spouse returns and are asked the same questions. Each question that both spouses answer with the same result ends up with a point for that couple. The spouses then switch, and the next round repeats similar to the first round, but with new questions. At the end of the both rounds, the couple with the most points wins. So why do I love this show? Because you never know what you're going to get with it. What makes this show fun is when one spouse is very wrong or a spouse reveals something embarrassing about themselves, the cruise directory certainly plays that part up in encouraging the couples to be honest and then poking fun at the answers. The show is kept family-friendly for the most part, although there are some references to body parts and past sexual experiences, but it's presented in good fun. I think older kids that are mature enough to handle these kinds of topics will find the show amusing as well. So I've generally found the Love and Marriage Game Show to be a fun one. It's a little hit or miss depending on who the couples are, but it's usually a good way to spend about, you know, 45 minutes or an hour. So I'm starting off with the Love and Marriage Game Show number one. Number two are the Broadway shows on board. Royal Caribbean does not get nearly enough credit for putting on Tony Award winning Broadway shows included with your cruise fare. Broadway shows are not cheap. I'm going to start off with the money aspect, then actually talk about the fact that they're good. But no matter if you go to New York City or you see a traveling show in a city near you, getting tickets to a Broadway show is going to cost you a pretty penny. But on Royal Caribbean, they're included. And yes, they're the full production shows. We're talking about Hairspray, Grease, Mamma Mia, We Will Rock You, even Saturday Night Fever. These shows are really a lot of fun as well because, of course, these are timeless musicals that probably already know half the songs, too, if you haven't even seen the movie based on them. Regardless of that fact, they're great, they're fun, and the Royal Caribbean does a great job of putting them together. I'd be remiss if we're talking about the best shows on here to skip over Tony Award-winning shows. My opinions being what they are, I don't think that can really hold a candle to the fact that these are clearly tested by a larger audience and the fact that their Broadway show is so good, so beloved, that Royal Caribbean decided to bring them on board these ships. In case you're wondering which shows are on which ships, you've got Hairspray on Symphony of the Seas, Grease on Harmony and Independence of the Seas, We Will Rock You on Anthem of the Seas, Cats on Oasis of the Seas, 
Mamma Mia on Allure of the Seas, and Saturday Night Fever on Liberty of the Seas. Certainly, Royal Caribbean could add more shows and change up these lineups they have in the past, especially with new ships coming online. That remains to be seen if that will actually be the case or not. But the bottom line is the fact that there's no additional cost to see these Broadway shows makes it a must-see. Make sure you go see them. The best bet when it comes to any of these shows, by the way, we're talking about, whether it's Love and Marriage, Broadway shows, or any other shows I'm talking about, when you get on board your Royal Caribbean ship, connect to the Wi-Fi and reserve a ticket via the Royal Caribbean app. It's no cost to do so, and it just ensures yourself of admission into a particular show, so that way you can see it for yourself. For my next favorite show on a Royal Caribbean ship, I'm going back to an original Royal Caribbean production, and that is Columbus the Musical. Available on Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas, Columbus the Musical recounts the imagined history of Marvin Columbus, Christopher's fictional, down-on-his-luck distant cousin. This is an original production that Royal Caribbean put together that recounts Marvin's banishment from his family's kingdom and his madcap voyage of discovery in the hopes of claiming his own place in history. What I love about this show is there is a plot and a story being told that's very easy to follow, and the songs they incorporate with it are well-known songs in addition. While I love seeing original Royal Caribbean shows on board their ships, many of them have plots that make you think about, what exactly was this about again? They're still good fun and really entertaining, but sometimes the plots are very, very thin. Whereas Columbus the Musical, it's more linear, and it makes a lot more sense. And I love the songs that are there as well, because... They're just ones that you already know about so you can sing along to, but it's a really cool show to be able to see. And I love that Royal Caribbean has gone in the spirit of Spamalot and Something Rotten, which are famous Broadway shows, and kind of come up with something on their own. Frankly, I wish they did more of this and they will do more of this, but I, I got to say that if you're on Harmony of the Seas, a must-see is Columbus the Musical because it is that darn good of a show. Next up is Aqua 80s on Oasis of the Sea. The Aqua Theater shows have always been a great form of entertainment, but I feel like Aqua 80s is truly a home run. Like a professional athlete that has had a career year statistically, Aqua 80s hits all the high notes, and it really resonated with me. I think the fact that the show features music of my youth and, more importantly, music that I know all the words to really made a difference. This is an Aqua Theater show based on, as the name implies, music from the 1980s. Of course, the performances by the cast members are top-notch as well. It has become clear with every new Aqua Theater show that Royal Caribbean produces, the experience becomes better and better because they learn lessons learned from past shows and build on that. And I think Aqua 80s is the result of an entertainment team that is firing on all cylinders. Again, the music is really good and the fact that they combine amazing acrobatics and diving along with, of course, music that I really love it was the first Aqua Theater show that I really wanted to see again. And so if you're on Oasis of the Seas, Aqua 80s is the way to go. And no, the soundtrack is not available publicly, although I would be honest, if you're not sitting there jotting down song names during the show to download later on, you're missing out on that. So now let's move to Studio B and what is my favorite ice show out there? You know, it's kind of funny when you talk about ice shows and you think, oh, really, man? Ice shows on a cruise ship? Like, are you trying to take a nap on board? I got to be honest with you. Every ice show I've seen has been really good. It's not ice capades or something that's really going to be a snooze fest. There's a lot of energy to these, and I've generally enjoyed all the shows I've seen in Studio B on Royal Caribbean. But the one that truly stands out for me is Ice Skate, Reach for the Stars on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. And yeah, I'm a sucker for technology. And this one has 48 drones along with a contemporary soundtrack performed by the talented Ice Cast. I absolutely love what Royal Caribbean has done with this one. Yeah, the drones are a very small part of the show, but it's really incredible how they incorporated with them, not just from a technical standpoint, but it's just beautiful. And I really love that Royal Caribbean has decided to take their ice show to the next step, which is why Ice Skate made my list over here because it is clearly a step beyond what we've traditionally seen with the ice shows. Traditionally, with the ice shows on Royal Caribbean ships, you're going to have a talented cast who are telling a very loose story along music. So they're performing different tricks and triple axles and double axles and backflips and the one where they swing the person's head like almost hits the ground. I, that one still gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> it's a really cool exhibit of true skill on the ice. But on top of that, the combination of the great music and the drones really makes Ice Skate a home run for me. And my last favorite show on a Royal Caribbean ship is one of their newest ones, which is The Effectors, available on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas. I got to admit, I went into this truly expecting not to like it because I'd heard a lot of good things about it and it sounded kind of weird and I was like, I'm not sure I can really buy into this. But Royal Caribbean has entered the superhero business with The Effectors. The Effectors 
is a group of superheroes with awesome abilities based entirely on creativity. The Effectors take the stage to demonstrate their awesome powers and then come together to battle their arch nemesis, Crash, as he tries to take over the world with his army of drone soldiers and scary henchmen. The show is really incredible because it combines, well, good performances and singing. That's the core of it, right? Great music, but also the extensive use of technology that makes it, I think, one of the most advanced shows in the cruise industry. Technology can sometimes overlap the actual show itself and try to make it more about the fact that they can put on specific effects rather than tell a good story. And I think Effectors combines technology to augment, not dominate the show. And a lot of the effects I really had to think about for a second, how the heck did they do that kind of situation? It was really impressive. It's not often that I find myself thinking, how the heck did that actually happen? But Effectors was one of those shows that truly demonstrated that. And if you happen to have a chance to see it on Odyssey of the Seas, it is absolutely a must-see. So there you have it, my list of six awesome Royal Caribbean shows that are my favorites that you must see if you go on a ship. I'd love to know in the comments which are your favorite Royal Caribbean shows of all time. Let me know which ones are truly must-see, not just ones that are good or nice or you enjoyed watching it. I'm talking about must-see home runs. Let me know in the comments below. While you're down below this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and also turn on your notifications so that way YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.